I am one of those individuals who walked in back doors because the law said I had to. I'm one of those individuals who rode on the back of the bus on the back seats that were not cushioned because the law said I had to. I went to the water and drank colored water because the law said I had to. I went to a school where everybody looked like me and the country was divided and segregated because the law said that I had to. So all of these things we continue to refer to are the things that me and my generation lived. We saw it for ourselves. We're not reading it in the history books, but we lived it. We changed the entire world. And we changed it because those men and women had enough guts, integrity, enough citizenship and love of country because my father was a Korean War era soldier as many of those other men and women were. They didn't beg for anything. They didn't beg for citizenship. They demanded it because they were American citizens who paid taxes, who raised children, who paid house notes and rent and did everything they were supposed to do so that they could demand from this country and its constitution those things that they were supposed to have. My family raised money and sent my dad to Washington for that march. Well, that man stood there and said that he wanted his children judged by the content of their character, not the color of their skin. And all we do in America right now is talk about color. Every issue, every issue is about race, it's about color. Instead of us sitting down at the table like men and women of common sense and common justice. And I may not be back here next year. And I'm sure everything I say to say is going to be misconstrued and misquoted and used against me in November. Fine, fine. Because I stand for my father's legacy. I stand for the men and women who acted like they had some sense and some courage and changed this country.